Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We will start with a new series where we'll create a weather app in Jetpack Compose. In the previous series of Jetpack Compose, we created a contacts app where we learned about room database and MVVM. And now in this series, we will learn about retrofit and API. So let me quickly give you a demo. This is how it looks. I have kept the UI minimal because UI designing is not my thing. I only focus on logic and you should too. Here we are supposed to write in city name. So I will write Mumbai. Then click on the check weather button. And look, we have four attributes. The city's name is Mumbai. The temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. The humidity is 83%. And lastly, a description as drizzle. We will retrieve these four things from the API and display them in cards. Simple. But which API? So I'll be using Open Weather Map API. See, we have already seen how retrofit works. But this time we will see how it works in Jetpack Compose. Okay? Now let's create it. Open Android Studio. Create a new project. Choose an empty activity. Name the project the weather app. And click on finish. Now the project is quite big. So obviously I have divided the videos into three parts. This is our first video where we will cover prerequisite. Then the second video we will cover retrofit which is very important. Then the third and the final video will cover designing the UI in Jetpack Compose. Got it? So let's start with the prerequisite. Go to Gradle Build. As we will be using Retrofit and MVVM, so add the required dependency. Then click on Sync now. And then, then go to Colors. Here we will add two colors, Blue and Dark Blue. So let me quickly add them. And then, then to make the app look more fancy, I'll simply add a background image in the drawable. And then, next, go to Android Manifest. Here, as we are retrieving the data from API, so obviously we will require the internet for that, right? Hence, I will give the internet permission. And then, now the last thing in prerequisite is to get an API key. To use an API, we need an API key for exclusive access. So go to Open Weather Map API. I'll mention the website link in the description box. Here we have different types of API, such as current weather data, hourly forecast, daily forecast, climatic forecast, and many more. Most of them have price, except for the current weather data. It's free to use. So we are going to use that one and click on subscribe. Here you will see a pricing chart. I will go with the free package. So click on get API key. Then register yourself by creating a new account. And then click on create account. Then write your company name and purpose. Confirm your email ID. Click on API keys. There is the default API key that you can use in your project. Also, the API key might take an hour to activate. Now keep your API key safe because in the next video we will be using it. So stay tuned for that. For now, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.